Your parents are blessings that you must cherish. Little were you when they were fending for your needs so as to keep you sustained. No matter how minute their contributions in your life might be at this moment, they have their due rights as long as they are not calling towards anything haram. Rights of parents, according to the Quran and Sunnah. Show respect, and your Lord has decreed that you not worship except Him, and to parents, good treatment. Whether one or both of them reach old age with you, say not to them, oof, and do not repel them, but speak to them a noble word. Be kind, good treatment. Abu Huraira reported that a person said, Allah's Messenger, who amongst the people, is most deserving of my good treatment. He said, Your mother, again, your mother, again your mother, then your father, then your nearest relatives, according to the order of nearness. Your mother probably went through all these difficulties when trying to sustain you as a child. The mother and child bond is something that's in the fitra, innate nature, and this is even witnessed in animals. The best of the deeds or deed is the observance of prayer at its proper time and kindness to the parents. Behave in a way that won't displease them. The Prophet wasallam said, The Lord's pleasure is in the parents' pleasure, and the Lord's anger is in the parents' anger. This connection between Allah's pleasure and the parents' pleasure is a sure reason for you to increase your reverence for your parents. Knowing that the Lord's anger is in your parents' anger should make you want to gain your parents' love using all good tactics. Be obedient as long as it doesn't contradict Quran and Sunnah. The Messenger of Allah said, The major sins are associating others with Allah, shirk, disobeying one's parents, killing a soul, murder, and speaking falsely. Remember that Allah is the one who has commanded you to obey your parents. You must, however, not obey them to disobey Allah. When your parents command you to do something which is sinful to Allah, such as shirk, disbelief in Allah, and other related things, then you are not obliged to obey them in this regard. But if they endeavor to make you associate with me, that of which you have no knowledge, do not obey them but accompany them in world with appropriate kindness and follow the way of those who turn back to me. Then to me will be your return, and I will inform you about what you used to do. Show humility towards them, respecting your parents, looking at them with affection, being humble with them, and talking to them with a gentle voice and with kind words are what lowering the wing of humility means. And lower to them the wing of humility out of mercy. Islam has prohibited arrogance, and it will even be more disdained when directed to the parents. For this reason, you must show love to your parents by not behaving with them in a patronizing manner. Arrogance towards parents can easily creep into a child's heart at some point in life especially when Allah might endow the child with more financial means and knowledge than the parents. Always remember that you've come to this world through them.